Hi there, I'm Janelle Lawrence, the Urban Teacher, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I invite you to come watch me plan an introductory CSR lesson. CSR is broken into three stages. That is before the reading stage, during the reading stage, and after the reading stage. Each of these stages have a set of instructional strategies that must be taught to the students. In this video, I'll be planning the very important before the reading stage of CSR, so please continue watching. I had the idea to make this video after I helped a new teacher at my school create a CSR lesson plan. Previously, that teacher tried to implement CSR in the classroom, but he was not successful because he did not teach all the stages and all the skills needed to successfully engage in a CSR activity. Remember, CSR is a set of instructional strategies that need to be taught. Students need to practice these skills, these strategies, before they even move on to the next one. I want to make planning your first CSR lesson as easy as possible. So I'm offering this lesson plan template, example lesson plan, as well as the accompanying example slides free to download via my TPT store. The link is in the description. Initially, the plan was to record myself creating the lesson plan, but I believe that it is better if I go over a completed lesson plan and the accompanying slides. Starting with the lesson plan, of course, Every lesson plan should start with the standards, essential questions, and learning targets. Naturally, I've included materials needed and targeted vocabulary. Then I plan for an entrance ticket that is times collected and graded. I then plan to introduce the topic, essential or daily focus question, and learning target. I'd like to add a brain break. This is a needed component after a long day of learning. Now I can get to previewing the text part of the lesson. Depending on which CSR graphic one uses, preview the text looks very linear. Read the title and subtitles, look at images, identify keywords, brainstorms, and make predictions. But from the teacher's standpoint, it should look like teach the topic, check for understanding, and then connect the reading to what you just taught. For this lesson, I will go over the first English settlers of the New England colonies and the Mayflower Compact. Of course, I need to add some check for understandings, then I will connect what I just taught to the reading that I've assigned. Once I have led students to the mini lesson or the preview of the text, I will then have students read the text. Since this is a lesson plan for a class that have yet to learn how to properly engage in the CSR process, I will simply assign the reading with guiding questions. Because I have so many struggling readers in my class who cannot access grade level articles, I simply make this activity a, a peer reading assignment with one capable reader and one struggling reader. You can even add an independent work component to the lesson plan, but I only have 45 minutes for this lesson and I have decided to not try to squeeze that component in. Instead, I will close the lesson by reviewing the answers to the guided questions. But how does this look to the students? Let us go through the slides. To begin the lesson, students take three minutes to come in, settle, and answer the entrance ticket question. It is timed and collected to encourage urgency. Then they begin to engage with the topic, or rather they are introduced to the topic, focus question, and learning target. Students then engage in a quick brain break to help them release any negative energy and get them focused to do the work. Then they are invited to share how they are feeling. Of course, it would not be right to not go over the do now questions, so we do this when we are sure all students have turned in their tickets. I am showing all this so that you can be aware that CSR should not be taken away from any other component you like to include in your lessons. There is room for you to do your do nows and SEL activities and whatever other activities you would like to include. At this point, this is where I really preview the text. Yes, students did get the opportunity to write the topic focus question and learning target earlier in the lesson, but this is where I actually teach. I give relevant information about the New England colonies 
and all those responsible for the Mayflower Compact. I also made connections to religion and the development of New England political system. Here's where I will check for understanding and encourage students to engage in student speak. This is not a very notes heavy class. These are middle schoolers, but if you're teaching upper grade levels or maybe an AP class, you can add more notes. Finally, I send students to read the document in pairs and answer the guided questions in their notebooks. That's it, previewing the text, CXR edition in the classroom. Now before you go, I would like to direct you to where you can find CSR resources. You can find CSR resources where I initially found mine at um, toolkit.colorado.org. Remember before you can get any information from that, you would need to register an account. Next, you can also find information on my website, you do not need to web register. I do have some free um, resources there at herbteacher.com, it is urbteacher.com, the link for this is in the description below as well as the toolkit.colorado.org. You can also find information or resources on my TPT store at the Urban Teacher LLC, again linked in the descriptions. I've also linked a video of students engaging in CSR so that you can see it in action and see why I advocate for it. Again, thank you for watching my video on planning for collaborative strategic reading in your classroom. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you do not miss another one of my uploads. Again, please subscribe to my channel. I do want to make a thousand subscribers this year, so please help me get there. Bye.